Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And here we're going to begin to cover some very, very important topics in this section and the next few sections. This section is on the topic of adding integers. And if you remember from a couple sections ago, an integer is a positive number, negative number, or zero. No decimal point involved, it's just the whole numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and on positive and on negative. So we have the negative numbers and the positive numbers to deal with, and we're going to learn how to add them in this section. So we've, we've broken up the sections here. This one is on adding integers, and then we'll have one on subtracting integers, and then multiplying integers, and then dividing integers. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is not hard. It's nothing, nothing more difficult than your third grade math that you learned before. It's just there's a couple of more rules to learn because we have negative numbers involved. And I'm going to tell you something. I want you to watch this section and practice enough problems to where you really feel like you really and truly understand and can do these kinds of things because a lot of people, if they don't understand how to add numbers properly, negative and positive numbers properly, or subtract them, multiply them, divide them, then of course when you get to equations and other things later on, it's just going to seem hard and it doesn't have to be that way. So we've got a ton of example problems, a ton of different ways to memorize and learn the little rules involved, and we're going to learn it by doing. So let's do that now. Now before we actually get to the addition, I need to cover one very important topic, very easy topic with you, and that is the concept of the absolute value of a number. The absolute value of a number has a big word, not a hard thing at all. So let's talk about that briefly. Well, a lot of you probably already know what this is. But for those of you that don't, the absolute value, absolute value of a number is, uh, is a very, very simple concept if it's explained in the right way. So let me give you a few numerical examples just instead of telling you in words what it is. The absolute value of the number 3, and these bars here, don't be scared off by them. That's just a math symbol, you know, uh, that tells you that we're talking about the absolute value of this number. Um, so, you know, there's lots of symbols in math, you know, equals, plus, negative, square root, all these things. Um, you know, there was a time when you didn't know any of them. So don't be upset if you don't know the symbol. Just absorb it and say, okay, this is what we're going to call the absolute value. The absolute value of a number 3, which is an everyday number you've dealt with all your life, is just the number 3. Okay, I'm going to give you a few examples, and then we're going to go and kind of wrap it up with a general observation. The absolute value of the number 5 that you've learned all your life is just the number 5. The absolute value of the number 1 that you've dealt with all your life is just the number 1. So you see it's not a hard concept just like I was telling you and I'm, I'm going to get into some words and what absolute value is in a second but let me show you a little something interesting. The absolute value of the number negative 2 which is negative numbers are new to a lot of people in this course. The absolute value of this is not negative 2, it's positive 2. The absolute value of negative 7 is equal to 7. And the absolute value of, let's say, negative 10 is equal to 10. So you can see whatever number you put in the inside of these little brackets here, whether it's positive or whether it's negative, no matter what you put in there, the absolute value is going to take the sign away. It's going to strip the sign off. If it's positive, it's going to stay positive. If it's a negative in there, you strip that negative away, and the answer is positive. So that is the absolute value. Now, why would we call? Why would we take the time to to uh, define something like this? Why would we care about that? Well, if you look at a number line, which we did a lot in the last section, uh, so this is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 